everyone, welcome back. Say hello, Michael. You get to choose which one. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to part two of freeze, where I actually teach you the proper exercises of how to teach freeze to your dog. All right. And we're just going to go back quickly and recap what we are trying to achieve, which is basically the emergency stop. So, here comes the video. Come. Freeze! Freeze! Good. Come. You are the best boy. <laughs> okay, come here. Practice makes perfect. Place. Sit. All right, so how do we teach this? It's actually very easy. So I'm going to be showing you little video clips. And remember that, like with the first clip, we start off with hand on the chest, saying the command, rewarding the dog. And you keep doing this, all right? This is a repetitive exercise that you practice everywhere. Somewhere along the line, you're no longer going to use your hand. You're just going to walk and say freeze. And if your dog does, then clearly they um, are understanding the command. You'll just have to keep practicing it everywhere, not just at home. Practice it inside your house, outside everywhere. Take the dog into public. Take them just off your property. Practice it there. Practice at strip malls. Practice on walks. When you have dog training sessions, um, wherever, practice it then as well. If you're hiking, just for the fun of it. Get your dog next to you. Practice freeze, all right? Don't just practice it in one spot. Teach the dog this is applicable everywhere, and it does start with the dog next to you. So watch this. So in the clip, you saw me walking, I said freeze, and I blocked my dog's chest, and then I gave him a treat. And I would practice this everywhere, inside, outside, upstairs, downstairs, in public, on walks and hikes and all sorts of things while my dog is next to me. And somewhere along the line, I will leave the hand away from the chest, I'll just walk, say freeze, I would stop walking and see what my dog does if my dog freezes and stops. Um, like the second part of that little video clip, then obviously my dog understands. And I will keep practicing that as well, inside, outside, upstairs, downstairs. Now the goal is obviously to stop your dog as they're coming towards you, because they might be on the other side of the road and you're really calling them to get back to you before something bad happens, and then ah, you have to stop them because there's a car coming. So there are some dogs who are a little bit over-enthusiastic when it comes to recall. They can't wait to get to you. They want their reward. So there are a few options basically to train this. And um, one of them is as follows. Alright, so the tether can be very helpful to basically keep the dog from um, just 
coming all the way to you and then it's really hard to try and fix all of that. So if you have a very enthusiastic dog, tether them on a longish line. I was too lazy to use a proper long line, so you can see what I did there. And um, the idea is also to put a marker down. I used a flat cone to show me how long the line is so that I can say freeze before my dog gets to the end of the line. I don't want him hitting the line and then I say freeze, that's unfair. So it's very, very important you measure that out and you say freeze before the dog reaches the marker so that they've got a few seconds to think about what you just asked and come to stop by themselves. Some dogs are just so blindly after the reward that they're gonna ignore what they heard, they get to the end of the line and they find they cannot go any more forward. You can still say good freeze, go to the dog, give them a reward anyway, okay? But usually if you've had a lot of practice with the dog next to you, they should actually stop before they reach the end of the line. They'll stop, they might sit, they might lie down, they might just stand there and look at you. Your job is to say good freeze, go to the dog, reward a lot, okay? Give them some high value treats, let them know they got it right. Unclip them from the long line, all right? And then go back to your spot. The dog is to hold the freeze spot. You go back to where you started and now finish the recall. Call the dog to you and reward them for coming. Then you wanna try it without having them actually tethered. So take them back to the spot where you started. Call them just before the marker, you say freeze. If they learned anything, they will actually freeze and then you can just go in there, praise them, go back to your spot, finish the recall, reward and release from there. So that is the basically the next step. All right, so soon the dog will realize that um, freeze is actually quite rewarding. Now the way that I taught her to lie calm, I did not use the tether at all. So in the next clip, you'll see what I did. So basically I had him in a sit wait. I walked away. And then when I faced him, after a few seconds, I called him, he came running to me, but less than halfway, I would go freeze. And then I would throw a treat or even a toy right past him. Now what happens after a while is that the dog starts to expect that when you say freeze, there's gonna be a treat or a toy flying right past them. So why would they come all the way to you when their treat or their toy, their reward, is gonna land next to them, but a little bit more behind them. So that really helped strengthen the freeze on the recall for my dog. And when I say freeze, he really does expect a reward to come flying at him. He'll stop and then obviously get the reward, but stay in that area. That's why I sometimes say freeze a second time to actually freeze him so that he doesn't come to me unless I say come. So that would be another great approach for the recall. Use a toy, use a favorite treat, and throw it at them after saying freeze, and use your body, use your body energy to block them. Really helpful, all right.
that is how you teach freeze to your dog. Now remember, go slowly, teach every little thing slowly until it's perfect, all right? Don't rush it. Stay patient with your dog. Have fun with them. Keep it short and sweet. Practice everywhere. Use nice high value rewards for your dog. Something that makes it worthwhile. And before you know it, if an emergency does happen, you can actually save your dog's life. If you did your training correctly and your dog really does understand what it means, they will stop and the danger can pass and you can finish your recall and your dog will not get injured or killed. So this is a very important exercise. Teach it to your dogs. It's really worthwhile and use it as then required. And otherwise, just do it for the fun of it and keep your dog sharp. All right. Thank you for watching my little freeze series. All right, and I hope to make future videos similar to this about other things. If you have any suggestions, things that you'd like me to teach you, um, maybe I would have taught it to my dog already, maybe not. If I haven't, then great. I love a challenge and I'm quite happy to start the process. I'll film it then so you can see our progress. At the moment, we are still um, busy with our herding the chickens. It's very slow process or progress because Lycan does have a very strong prey drive. But um, he's coming along, it's going slowly and I will update you guys in the future on that as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the future. Bye from myself and bye from Lycan.